the geometry of coordination complexes can be pretty straightforward. For instance, if we've got six ligands in a transition metal complex, the geometry of that complex will be octahedral. And that's a very common geometry. But if we have four ligands, then there is a choice to be made. The complex could be either square planar or tetrahedral. So we'll take a look at some of the reasons complexes will go one way or the other. One of the reasons, uh, one of the factors that governs these differences is sterics. And we could be talking here about the size of the ligand or the size of the metal. And the reason sterics plays a role is that in a square planar geometry, the ligands are 90 degrees apart from each other. But in a tetrahedral geometry, they are 109 degrees apart from each other. They're a little further from each other in tetrahedral than in square planar. So if the ligands are very large, in the square planar case, they tend to get a lot closer to each other, and bump into each other. But in a tetrahedral case, they're a little bit farther away. They're much less likely to crowd each other. So tetrahedral geometry is favored by, with uh, larger ligands that would otherwise crowd each other, or conversely with smaller metals that would be more easily crowded. The opposite is true in square planar cases. The other factor that can govern whether compounds are square planar or tetrahedral um, has to do with electronics, uh, the number of D electrons. And we specifically see uh, frequently square planar geometry when complexes are D8. So I'll just fill in this diagram as D8. This tends to happen when we have a low spin D8 configuration. And because of this pretty large gap here, um, when we're low spin, it tends to mean that's the gap that is not surmounted by electrons. So electrons stay below that large gap in tetrahedral geometries. If we have a D8 complex in the tetrahedral geometry, it actually doesn't matter whether it's low spin or high spin, we still end up with the same end result. It looks like that. The difference here is what's happening in the highest lying orbital, the highest energy orbital. And if the complex is square planar, that highest orbital is empty for D8, but it's still filled for anything above D4, actually, for tetrahedral. So um, we frequently see D8 metal complexes that are four coordinate adopting square planar geometries because that allows them to have a lower average energy than you get in the corresponding tetrahedral complex. Mm -hmm.